Hi, in this video we are going to see an example of a neural network and how to construct a neural network for AND logical relation or the AND logical table. So the AND table is something like this, where the 0 represents the false and the 1 represents true. It's going to yield the x and y is going to represent 1 when both x and the y is 1 and uh, any other uh, situations there are zero. So how can we construct uh, a neural network with uh, graph nodes and edges in order to produce something like this? And here we are going to have an input layer and an output layer. As I said earlier, we do not necessarily need the hidden layer. Here it's, uh, it's a very, very basic situation as simple that we, we do not need any hidden layers at all. Although we may construct uh, a neural network that will produce the AND logical table if we have a hidden layer, but we do not need it necessarily. So we have an input layer, the X and the Y, and it is going to represent the two inputs as we have seen in this table, the X and the Y. So both of them uh, can have values zeros or ones. And we have the output layer which is going to be the x and y, it is going to be zero or one as well. So for example we are go uh, we can have uh, the edges and the edge weights w1 and w2 and of course every node has a threshold t in a neural network. So if the incoming signal is greater than this threshold, then the neuron will fire. So how, how, how will we calculate this incoming signal? We just have to calculate the weights. We have to multiply it uh, by the neuron value, which is the x. We have to sum up these. And if this signal is greater than the threshold, then it will fire. For example, the threshold for this uh, neuron is equal to 2. So it is going to fire whenever the incoming signal is equal or greater than this 2. So for example, we came to the conclusion, I'm going to tell in the future how we can calculate these weights, but we come to the conclusion that the weight 1 is equal to 1.5, the weight 2 is equal to 1.5. And let's consider the situation when the x is equal to 0 and the y is equal to 0. It is the first line in our AND logical table. The result should be 0, so our neural network should produce 0 in the output layer. It's how, how do we calculate the input signal? The incoming signal to the output node from x and from y is equal to the value of the x uh, times the w1 weight plus the value of the y uh, times the w2 weight. And if the incoming signal is greater than the threshold of the output layer's neuron, then the neuron will fire, or it means that it's going to produce 1. If it's fire, it is a 1. If it, 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 it do not fire, it is a 0. So, let's calculate. The incoming signal is equal to 0 because the x is equal to 0 times 1.5 because the uh, w1 weight is equal to 1.5 plus 0 times 1.5 because the y is equal to 0 2 and the w2 is equal to 1.5. It's going to yield us 0 and because 0 is less than the uh, threshold, 0 is less than 2, it is going to produce 0. So, so far, so good. The first line in our table, if we remember that, I try to go back to our logic table. So here, the first line is the x is equal to 0, the y is equal to 0, then the output, which is the x and y, is going to be 0. The second line is 0, 1, the third line is 1, 0, and uh, we should get uh, 1 in the output layer only and if only both the x and the y is going to be 1. So let's see whether it's true. So yeah, that's it. 
the incoming signal is less than uh, 2, so it's not going to fire. Let's consider the situation when the x is equal to 1 and the y is equal to 0. It's the second line in our logical table. We calculate the incoming signal 1 times 1.5. Why? Because 1 is the value of x times the weight uh, accordingly, which is w1. It is 1.5 plus the value of y times the w2 weight, which is 0 times 1.5, it is going to be equal to 1.5. It is less than 2, the threshold, so it's not going to fire, it's going to produce 0. So far, so good. Then what about the situation when the x is equal to 0 and the y is equal to 1? It is the third line in our logical table. Uh, our, our neural network should produce 0 too. So the incoming signal is 0 times 1.5 plus 1 times 1.5. Why? Because we have to uh, calculate the neuron's value times the weight of this neuron to the output layer and we have to sum them up. So 0 times 1.5 plus 1 times 1.5 is equal to 1.5 it is less than 2, the threshold, so our output layer, our output neuron is not going to fire, it is going to yield 0. And it is good, because in our logical table, if x is 0 and y is uh, 1, the x and y is going to produce 0. What about the case when both x and y are 1s? The result uh, should be 1, and uh, the incoming signal is 1 times 1.5 1 plus 1 times 1.5 1 because both the x is equal to 0, the weight 1 is equal to 1.5, 1 so 1 times 1.5, 1 the y value is equal to 1, and the w2 is equal to 1.5, 1 so it is a 1 times 1.5, 1 and we have to sum them up, and it's going to be 3. So our neural uh, network is going to produce the right results because the output neuron in this situation is going to fire because the input's incoming signal is 3 and the threshold is 2. So because the incoming signal is greater than the threshold, it is going to fire. It is going to yield us 1. So with the help of this neural network, we can reproduce the end logical table. And the problem is how that we calculate the weights for... Uh, this this neural network because if you may consider that if the uh, weight one so the w one is equal to five for example then it this neural network is not going to give us the right results so sometimes we have to come to the conclusion that these are the right weights and uh, we can do it with the help of training so in the next video we are going to talk about how to train a neural network thanks for watching